Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn how to use a multiplication table, also known as a multiplication chart. This is a multiplication chart. It's fun because it's got little bubbles on it, so we're going to play with it and pop the bubbles. If you'll notice, there are 12 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Technically, there are 13 lines because this line represents zero. As you can see, there's an X there, which means it's nothing. Zero is nothing. There are also 12 going down this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 this way and 12 this way. And we have the zero column, which is nothing. So if we want to know what one times one is, we can go over one and down one. One, one. One times one is one. If we want to know what two times two is, we go over two, one, two, and down two, one, two. Two times two is four. If we want to know what three times three is, we go over three, one, two, three, and down three, one, two, three. And we see the answer is nine. Three times three is nine because where they join is the number nine. If we want to know what four times four is, we count over one, two, three, four, and down one, two, three, four. And we see the answer is 16 because four times four is 16. They merge at the 16. If we want to know what two times six is, we go over one, two, and down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is 12 because six times two is 12. See? You go over on the 6 and down on the 2, and you've got 12. Let's see what 6 times 6 is. We go over 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the answer is 36 because the 6 here leads down to 36, and the 6 here leads over to 36, and they join right there. Let's see what 12 times 12 is. Where's the 12? All the way over here in the corner. Where's the other 12? All the way down in this corner. And when you follow it over to where they meet, which is all the way in this corner, you get 144. So 12 times 12 is 144. Let's see what seven times eight is. Seven times eight. We have to count over seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the answer is 56. 56 is the answer to seven times eight, because that's where they join. Seven, 
and then 8 and they join right there at 56. Let's see what 5 times 10 is. 5 times 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you got to count down 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the answer is 50. 5 times 10 is 50. Good job. Now, what do we think 6 times 6 is? How do we find it? 6 times 6. Count over 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The answer is 36. Because 6 times 6 is 36. Now, let's see what 8 times 9 is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8. So then now we've got to go down 9 because it's 8 times 9. 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The answer is 72. Because there's the 9. 9 meets 8 at 72. 72 is the answer. Now let's see what 6 times 12 is. 6 times 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now let's count down 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The answer is 72. Because 6 times 12 is 72. You're doing great. What do you think 11 times 11 is? 11 times 11. Let's count over 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And down 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 121 is the answer to 11 times 11. 121. <clears throat> now, what do you think is the answer to zero times zero? This represents zero, which is nothing. And nothing times nothing is nothing. So it stays right here. Zero times zero is zero. Anything times zero is zero because anything times nothing is nothing. What's anything times one? Anything times one is itself. So one times one is one. One times one is one. And one times two is two. One times two is two. One times three is three. One times four is four. One times five is five. And it goes the same way all the way down to 12 or even beyond 12, but this chart just goes up to 12. So anything times the number one is itself. Eight times one is eight. Nine times one is not nine. A hundred times one is a hundred. Anything times one is just itself. Anything times zero is zero. What's two times eight? 
two times eight. You count over two, one, two, and down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The answer is 16 because two times eight is 16. Let's do a few more and then you'll know how to use a multiplication chart. How about seven times five? Seven times five. We count over seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And down five. One, two, three, four, five. The answer is 35. Because seven times five is 35. How about nine times nine? Nine times nine. We count over nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And down nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the answer we see is 81. Because the nine row and the nine row connect at the number 81. So we know nine times nine is 81. Good job, everybody. You can make a multiplication table at home. Just make a chart and write in all the numbers and you can use your chart to find out what any number is times any number up to 12. Or if you make your chart up to 10, it'll just tell you the 10s. You can make your chart as big as you want to. But practice at home and you'll be great at it in no time. Make sure you like and subscribe to the videos for more learning fun. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.